Shadow Binders is back in stock on shopclownfish.com. That's shopclownfish.com. And now on with the show. Don't let the TARDIS door hit you on the way out there, Jody and uh, Chibnall. Don't let it hit you on the way out. This is Neon. This is Clownfish TV. We're going to talk about the big news. Jody Whitaker and Chris Chibnall are leaving Doctor Who confirmed. This should not surprise anybody. There have been rumors and rumblings about her leaving. Uh, Chris Chibnall... There have been rumors and rumblings about him leaving as well because, frankly, he hasn't done a very good job. Let's just just be honest. In fact, he's fucked up Doctor Who pretty badly. They introduced a retcon, which has split the fandom right down the middle. I don't even think it's down the middle. It's more like a 20-80 split. People were very, very pissed off about the Timeless Children, the retcon that said the Doctor's been around like forever and has had potentially thousands of incarnations. Um, the Time Lords stole regeneration from her, their, his people. And uh, they learned to regenerate by killing the Doctor repeatedly as a child. Just a colossal bunch of bullshit. And this is on top of the show already turning into the magic school bus. Look, I don't have a problem with there being a female doctor, okay? I have a problem with the show being boring as fuck, which it has been for the last three seasons. And it's definitely time to close the book on this incarnation of Doctor Who. The thing is, is I don't think it's going to get any better. I think one of two scenarios are going to happen here. It's either going to get worse, we're actually going to get a worse showrunner come in. I would love for Russell T. Davies to come back. But, uh, you know, it's not, it's not 2007, 2008 anymore. So even if he came back, it probably wouldn't be the same. I'm sure it wouldn't be the same. But it's got to be better than what we got. It has to be better than what we have right now. So we don't know who is going to take over, who the next doctor is, who the next showrunner is. Uh, you know, at this point, I'm not holding my breath. I I don't think the show is going to get better. It doesn't matter who you bring in. I think that Doctor Who, the damage has been done. Personally, I think they should just rest the franchise for like a decade, come back, reboot it or something. Just pretend this incarnation of the Doctor never happened because it didn't go over well at all. Now, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 225,000 subs, I think, something like that. Thank you so much for the support. Geeky is sitting this one out. She doesn't care about Doctor Who anymore. I don't blame her. Uh, I had my heart broken. The show is terrible. Again, don't have a problem with female doctor, just not this female doctor and not these stories. They're awful. They're terrible. It's boring as hell. It's cheap. It's a cheap looking show. I mean, this is arguably... Uh, well, inarguably, the worst, the worst seasons of New Who, and arguably, I, I, I think it's probably some of the worst that Doctor Who has ever seen. I'm even going back to the 1980s. Some of those episodes, not so good, right? Uh, some of them were not so good, but at least they tried. <laughs> you know, <laughs> at least they tried for the most part. Uh, this incarnation of Doctor Who is trying to just preach. It's edutainment. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's unironic if, if they, you know, leaned into the cheesiness of the premise a little bit more, maybe it would be tolerable, but there's no humor. There's no joy in this doctor who the jokes, when there are jokes are not fun, not funny, and usually come at the expense of dudes and men. There have been many, many jokes at the expense of men. Uh, especially the one where Jodie Whittaker was like, yeah, I got an upgrade. I'm not a man anymore. Yay. All right. Anyway, Gizmodo covering it. New York Post is covering it. The BBC is covering it. We'll go with Gizmodo. Doctor Who's Jodie Whittaker and Chris Chibnall to exit in 2022. Uh, Doctor Who will air three more specials next year to say farewell to the 13th Doctor and her showrunner. Again, don't let the door of the TARDIS hit you on the way out. Couldn't come fast enough. The BBC has announced that Current Dr. Jodie Whittaker, as well as showrunner Chris Chibnall, will depart Doctor Who in 2022. Yeah, the BBC wants to save its ass with this show. I mean, Doctor Who used to move merchandise. 
used to move a lot of merchandise. I, I had a friend I talked to uh, a week or so ago said that, yeah, there's like no Doctor Who merch at all. It's not selling. Nobody wants Doctor Who anything. They've, they've destroyed this brand. The duo will, after the upcoming season 13, say farewell with three special episodes to air throughout next year. In 2017, I opened my glorious gift box of size 13 shoes. I could not have guessed the brilliant adventures, worlds, and wonders I was to see in them. My heart is so full of love for this show, for the team who make it, and for the fans who watch it, and for what it has brought to my life, said Whitaker uh, in a released statement. And I cannot thank Chris enough for entrusting me with his incredible stories. Stop lying! Come on, Jody. you don't actually think... You don't actually think they're that great, do you? Yeah, she probably does. She probably does. We knew that we wanted to ride this wave side by side, side by side, and pass on the baton together. Yeah, they're riding this wave uh, for sure. They're riding this wave, this downward spiral. The ratings, the ratings have been awful. Uh, you know, they started out really strong when the first episode with Jodie Whittaker, some of the best ratings the show has ever seen, and within a few short weeks. The ratings dropped off as people realized this show was trash. Week after week, uh, it was trash. And, you know, then we wound up back in Capaldi era uh, ratings. Some people, I think, hate watched it. I think they would tune in to hate watch it. But it's laughably bad. And it's time for her to go. It's time for him to go for sure. Maybe she would have been better under a different showrunner. But uh, we'll never know, will we? We'll never know. Um. So here we are, weeks away from wrapping up on the best job I ever had. I don't think I'll ever be able to express what this role has given me. I will carry the doctor and the lessons I've learned forever. I know a change can be scary and none of us know what's out there. That's why we keep looking. Travel, hopefully, the universe will surprise you constantly. According to the corporation, Doctor Who's 13th season will air later this year as a six-part event serial. Looks boring, by the way. The season truncated by filming restrictions due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The season truncated by the BBC hemorrhaging money uh, is more like it. Uh, that's what I think is going on here. The BBC is, is hemorrhaging money. It was previously announced as being eight episodes long with two previously planned specials to air in 2022. Those specials will now be joined by a third feature-length adventure which will bid farewell to Whitaker's incarnation of the Time Lord and see her regenerate into a new form. Uh, Jody and I made a three series and out packed with each other at the start of this once in a lifetime blast. So now our shift is done. We're handing back the TARDIS keys. Good, good, but I'm not hopeful. I think the show is actually going to get worse. Uh, I don't think the BBC is really interested in retaining old fans. We've seen the attitude from the BBC. Uh, we see that the BBC is, you know, getting increasingly political, increasingly, quote unquote, woke. I don't think it's going to improve. We're not going to see prime Russell T. Davies, David Tennant era, Doctor Who again anytime soon, if ever again. I don't think it's coming back. I don't think we're going to go back to that. Um, Jody's Magnificent. Iconic Doctor has exceeded all of our high expectations. Bullshit! Bullshit. She's been the gold standard leading actor, shouldering the responsibility of being the first female Doctor with style, strength, warmth, generosity, and humor. She captured the public imagination and continues to inspire adoration around the world, as well as from everyone in production. I can't imagine working with a more inspiring Doctor, so I'm not going to. No, I think he's kind of being pushed out the damn door. I think they realize that this is a sinking ship. Doctor Who is in bad, bad shape. The ratings are bad. The merchandise sales are stagnant, if not non-existent. The fandom is fractured. People freaking hate this show. Look at this, 16% audience score for season 12. And I think a lot of that comes down to the Timeless Children. Timeless Children was a terrible, terrible ill-conceived retcon and it's time to go it's time to go if you're wondering what's next radio time cites the bbc is saying we will announce plans for the new generation of doctor who in due course watch this space so they're not resting the show i think they should i personally think it's time to just say hey you know what let's hang it up for another decade or two we did it before and it worked out well uh we'll come back when somebody who actually gives a shit is ready to take this show 
in an exciting yet respectful direction and not just keep this thing on life support. Uh, it's definitely Doctor Who has been damaged, possibly irreparably, at least for the, the uh, foreseeable future. So it would be advisable to think long and hard about which direction you want to take this show in uh, going forward, BBC. But we know how it is. We know how it is now. The BBC is actually worse than Hollywood in some, some regards, and they'll run ahead with another ill-conceived uh, doctor, uh, choice of casting, and an ill-conceived showrunner, and probably just run this thing completely into the ground. Um, completely into the ground. So I'm going to wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.